Franklin, are you here? Tell me what this gang says. Pod 396 was accessed. I know who accessed it. Are there survivors? Well, it's been over a month, so the probability of survival is... Tell me. There is a biosignature. Something or someone is alive. Wait, no, there are two. There are two biosignatures. <gasps> she, she's, she's still alive. willing to take the risk, considering... Don't you dare rub that in my face. Memo. now reaching toxic levels, a group of insurgents have tried to breach the domes reserved for citizens. This comes on the eve of the migration to Hesperides. Lieutenant, everything okay? Yes, Captain. We're back online now, sir. Mr. Langdon, it's an honor and pleasure to have you with us, sir. Thank you, Captain. As you can see, our crew have little to do but monitor the Magnificently designed nav and control system. Now, there's no need to flatter me, Captain. I'm well aware of the beauty of my inventions. And your systems command manager is a non-citizen? Yes, sir. This is Lieutenant Miller. 
I hope she didn't buy into those rumors about Hesperides. They're not accepting citizenship applications, not even for employees of UGS. <laughs> Is everything stable, Lieutenant? Sir, request permission for manual override. She's allowed to do that? Sir, I am authorized. You don't ever speak to me. If I may, sir. Please. On my ship, non-citizen crew are held to the same standards as any citizen member. I trained Lieutenant Miller myself. Sir, do I have your permission to proceed? I designed the system to be a better pilot than any human, citizen or not. <sighs> Lieutenant, keep the auto drive engaged. Yes, Captain. When I have control of my own ship, the only thing a roach A non-citizen will be doing his cleaning the toilets. <laughs> Mr. Langdon, uh, let us see the view from the bow. I believe Captain Star is in sight. It is a beautiful little red dwarf. We would enjoy that. <laughs> Lieutenant. <sighs> I'm okay. You look terrible. Go to the medic bank. Officer Xiang, assume command for the lieutenant. Yes, sir. going on you shouldn't have come in here if you need I I'm fine I'm just feeling a bit nauseated all right let's have a look hmm she did get the contraceptive implants yes I reported for implantation along with all the other female crew <sighs> well she's pregnant Sit down. We'll take care of it. <sighs> I should go back to the command bridge. Are you okay? Yes, go. Sir. All UGS personnel report to assignment immediately. Warning. have been breached. Get out of my way, Dover. Closing the hatch. No. Wait. Shit. It won't work. There's only citizens on this. 
this floor. How did you get up here? What, you're not happy to see me? This is the last one up here. I came up the service shaft from level four. We need to get back down there. Show me how. It's no use. Level four is gone. What do you mean, gone? I mean, it's gone. Okay. Through the box got out. I went up the shaft with the whole corridor. It just ripped but apart. You put your... Excuse me. This is not for you. What the hell is your deal, man? There are other pods for non-citizens. Those are all gone. Not my problem. Help me with it. I hope we don't regret this. Get locked in. We need to seal the inner door and eject before the ship's reactor is compromised. Just leave it. He's knocked out cold, he won't mind. Hey, Domer. Not the first class trip you paid for, huh? Are we have ejected? We aren't disengaging. What does that mean? It means we're stuck. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Get us out of here. He's going into meltdown! These pods were designed to withstand that. Do oh, you really believe that? Oh, we're gonna die! My chance to say you love me. What are you doing? Put it back. Sir, I'm afraid she'll have an aneurysm. It's not your decision to make, Alana. We won't learn anything from a vegetable. I need to know. We'll find your brother. You stay here with her, no one else. And ping me the very moment she's awake. Understood, sir. She knows. And so will I. Even if I have to rip it out of her. They're programmed to dispense every 24 hours and no more. You mean this is the only system that survived intact? Yes. Its circuitry remain undefected. It's designed that way as a failsafe. Same for the auxiliary rebreather for life support. That's why we're still alive after the main system failure. Wow. Well, maybe whoever designed the food dispenser should have designed the rest of the shit, huh? <laughs> Silence. Enough. You, come here. Lee, you as well. Sir, I'm Eve I Miller. don't care who you are. I'm only concerned with what you did on the Sagan and how it will help us survive. Oh, you mean how she and these other roaches broke protocol and have endangered us both? Sir, I'm a lieutenant with the UGS, a lead navigation systems manager. Lieutenant means nothing on a non-citizen. Where are we? Oh, uh, I'm not quite... What do you know? Sir? We traveled at high velocity for 33 hours before we were able to stabilize. How far we went is impossible to tell because the positioner is non-responsive, as are all other NAVCOM systems. Continue. I believe I can create a patch override that'll allow me to get a fixed position so we can head back towards the main UGS caravan route. We can restore significant thrust, it's our only chance. <clears throat> Is she correct? 
I agree with her. Most of the circuitry appears damaged beyond repair. If we use it to restore thrust, we would also be depleting our life support system. Well, current calculations show that we have no more than 22 days of oxygen left. The sustained thrust would deplete us by five to seven days. The risk is too great. I thought all pods had at least 60 days to ensure enough time for at least three ships' travel time. We should have had 40 days. But with the damage done and... Uh, and what? These pods were designed to optimally sustain four lives. We have a fifth passenger. Which is why we have to get back to the main UGS caravan route. We have to make the next egg, and we can't afford to stay here. Yeah, I mean, we gotta figure out... Who exactly are you to have an opinion? What is your specialty? Attended livestock. A goat herder. No, chickens, actually. Oh, and I'm also the guy that saved your life. You're welcome, man. Sir, with respect, we are all equally in this. This is not a democracy. I have decided we will hold our current position and wait to be rescued. You've decided. What makes you think they'll even look for us all the way out here? They will look for me. to leave. Why? Now. Sorry. It was a mistake. You know, you're probably right. But it's the last chance to say you love me. Are you and I in an awkward situation? Uh, it depends on if you feel awkward. I mean, that's not how I remember it happening. Well, that's how it happened. Well, that's the great thing about memory, isn't it? Especially with you women, you can remember what you want. What do you want, goat herder? And that's funny. It's chickens. I just came down to use the can. But... Saw that you were, uh... Well, then you should probably go. I was just trying to have some fun. And I was just trying to kill some time before we get rescued. Wake up, Thompson. 
This isn't a joke. I'm not dying out here. I've worked too hard. I've come too far. And you should probably know that. You know, I believe it or not, I don't want to die either. I mean, we all want to get to Hesperides. We all want to grow up and live happily ever after. But that's not. That doesn't make a goddamn bit of difference, does it? Because for you and for me, that is never going to happen. We are going to spend the rest of our lives slaving away on these transport ships. And the difference between us, I've accepted it. <sighs> just, just relax. Go back 20 seconds. Just lay down. Sounds like a very high and admirable aspiration. <sighs> Come on. But unless we get the pod's navigational system fixed, citizen or non-citizen, we're all screwed. Here, you can have it. Damn it. I always say the wrong goddamn thing, Thompson. You mess up every good thing in your life. Fresh off the griddle. States are gone, and the whole world is pretty much ending. When the Yellowson Calder erupted, it wasn't its first time. It was thought it was at least its fourth. Okay, that's comforting to hear when pretty much everything is going extinct. I'm sorry. What is your point exactly? My point is life is resilient. Mother Nature always finds a way for survival. Maybe the planet wasn't happy with what was done to her. About the only thing we do agree on, for sure, is that the planet is a woman. Hey. Hey, you. You want to help out here? I'm not a technician. You will help her. But, sir, do as I say. Piece of the nav motherboard, right? Yes. It's a component of the short range signal transponder. Solder these, will you? Without the position or operational, it's not gonna work. Doppler. We're making a radio Doppler device. A primitive radar. That's all 20th century. 
Something is out there. We'll find it. It changes nothing. It changes everything. We don't know if it's another part. Could be an asteroid fragment from the same field that hit the Sagan. We need to try for it. Lee, tell him I'm right. What is your opinion? I think she could be right. No. We will maintain course. But... Based on my calculations, going in that direction does put us back towards the caravan route. We should proceed through it. Well, hell yeah. I'm with my guy here. Are you sure? I don't think we can be absolutely sure about anything. What I am sure of is, I was wrong about how much oxygen we have left. We have less. We're using more than earlier calculated. If we stay here in our current position, the probability of us depleting it before rescue... There is a rescue. How much of our oxygen will it take to reach this object? Look at me, not her. Half. Half. Maybe less. But maybe more. Are you willing to bet your life on this? I am. And you're certain you can find this ship, flying blind, with no navigation? Yes. The rest of you, this is what you want? Your lives in this woman's hands? It beats waiting to die. So be it then. You need to reroute power to the thrusters. <laughs> that was good. He listens to you. Just hope you don't make a habit of taking credit for other people's work. No promises. Ready up here. I'm glad I'm on your ship. These are for you. 
Those are for you. You need them more than I do. You don't have to do this, I'm fine. Where have I heard that before? We should talk about your... to go yes where is this ship we used our precious oxygen to find i i don't know it should be there it could possibly have been a molecular cloud that dissipated hydrogen gas so we don't have enough oxygen to wait for the next sagan because of a gas cloud We're gonna die anyway. Might as well have tried, right? I'm sorry. I am so sorry. It's okay. <laughs> you, that's your life. I thought I... I was so she sure. She bet her life. So why should we pay with our own? Since she was proven wrong? It's only fair that she forfeit hers. Franklin. What the hell are you talking about? I'm talking about the facts, Goat Herder. The fact that we now don't have enough oxygen to make the next Sagan. The fact that this woman has led us to this calamity. The fact that she staked her life on it. And the fact that if she gives it as she said she would, we may live. Lee, if she were gone, how much more time would that give us? I'm not sure. I How much that. more time? About two days. Two more days. One more than we would need for the next Sagan. No. No. No way, man. There's not a chance in hell of that happening, man. You kill her over my dead body. Well, if you wish to join her, I'm sure no one here would object. I wonder how many of us would object to you. I have had enough of your insolence. Stop it! Stop it! Ah! Stop it! Ah! It sounds like a dangerous plan, if you ask me. It's the only way. I say that... You I... will go. Yes, of course. But it's a two-man job. We need to grab the other antenna array and see if there's any air left we can salvage. Lee will stay back and operate the controls in case something happens out there. Who's the lucky guy that gets to go out there with her? <laughs> no. Uh, forget me. Uh... 
shortwave will work so we can communicate, as should your uh, helmet camera with a direct relay to the main viewing screen so they can see what we do. Well, if I'm going to die, I'm going to die looking sexy. I look good in this thing. Come on. Put it on. Yeah, right. I see that MRE diet's only working for one of us, baby. A little paunch there. <laughs> Fine. These are the tools you'll need to detach and then attach the antenna. I got it. We'll have to disengage the boot magnets to get across. Thanks, Mom. We have less than 30 minutes of air in these things, so no messing around. Last chance to say you love me. Are you ever serious? Always. Ready? Fuck no. Can we get a bit closer? It's less than 15 meters. Yeah, well, it looks infinite. Uh, this is really stupid. After you, ma'am. Ladies first. Don't whiff out on me. Miller, are you okay? We've lost visual. Okay, we're back. We must have a short in there. I'm entering the ship now. Are you guys seeing this? They look like... like incubators. Why would there be incubators on an escape pod? Let's not waste time, Lieutenant.
What is it? I just found one of the crew. Oh, shit. Uh, guys, which one? Second one in from the right. One with the small gray box attached. The positioner's inside it. This one? Yes. I'll take it off. Rubbish. What's the situation? 25% of air legends. What the hell? What is it? We're losing air. Thompson, can you check tank number four? It's on your left as you come down the conduit. Guys, I don't think we're going to get any of that air. Damn it, Miller. Your carelessness has cost us that air. Incubators. I got 
tangled up in some wire. And I hit the broken glass. That was all. It was a stupid mistake. How's he doing? Thompson, we better bring you back inside. Yeah. Yeah, I'm coming back right now. You guys are scared the shit out of me. Tell me what you saw. Out of the other pod, I... I thought I saw something come out of it. Lock the outside door. What? No. Do it now! It's still out Do it there. now! I won't! Get back! Why, Franklin? What's out there with him? I don't know. The protocol is not to allow a foreign body inside if contamination is possible. Who said anything about a foreign body? What's out there? Hey, quit screwing around in there. Close the outer door and let me in. No! That man is not coming inside. Hey, it's getting hard to breathe. He'll die. Yes. He saves your life. Doesn't matter now. I will kill all of you. Make no mistake. <laughs> This should keep him out for about 12 hours. So he's like, out, out, yeah? Yeah, like the dead. He won't bother you anymore. Good. Hey, 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 what are you doing? Yeah. Let go of me. I won't let you do that. Ah, oh, screw him. He was gonna let me die. What's going on over there? Nothing. I'm just keeping him comfy. We've got other things to worry about right now. Did anyone know he had this? I mean, it's not shocking. He is military. He heads up the bioweapons program. You knew this? Yes. I've known him for a long time. What exactly does he do? I don't know. It's bioweapons. It's all classified. But why does he Where did he get gun? it? I don't know. When push comes to shove, at the end of the day, was he... Was he just gonna shoot us when the time came? Don't be ridiculous. Ridiculous? Was that you that he had out there, not letting back in the pod? Oxygen. He'd kill us all. He would kill us all. Why would he do that? Oxygen. The less of us there are, the better chance the rest have for survival, especially now that we have a positioner. Some of us are... Expendable? He wouldn't do that. What do we do now? First thing is we make sure no one gets shot. So you're just taking command? Is that what's happening here? 
In case you haven't noticed, I have been steering well, hey, the ship. Hey, I trust her more than I trust that sociopath. Out sociopath there. or not, he and I are citizens, and the only ones who have the right to be in this pod. Oh God, he's right. He's right. We are boned. We're hosed. We're screwed. I mean, we just committed mutiny. Do you know that? We just did. All three of us, not him. And they're gonna kill me. They're gonna kill me. They're gonna execute me outright. I'm not worth the resources to send back to Earth to rot in a box. Well, just explain to the authorities. Look, I don't support what just happened here. But for the sake of getting rescued, I'm with you. Oh, shit. When they start asking questions. Oh, sweet Jesus, thank you. seem to have pushed us a little more than 20,000 kilometers from our point of origin. We cut several thousand of those off by heading towards the pod we found, but we still have quite a ways to go. What did you do? It's okay. It's okay. We'll get there. We need to know what happened to the crew. I don't know if I can keep this a secret anymore. You won't be able to keep hiding this. I know that. They're bound to figure it out. I'll handle it. How, exactly? It's only going to get worse. And then I'll be obligated... Well, I didn't plan for it to happen like this, okay? I'm sorry, Myers. You've been so kind to me. And I have asked so much of you already. I hope you don't regret helping me. Okay. Get some rest. What's going to happen to us? Really? I don't know. Considering the timeline, you'll be too far along for termination. And then there's the possibility that you'll give birth on Hesperides. Be a citizen. <laughs> if we're still alive. <laughs> Was Thompson right? Will they condemn us for what we've done? Franklin is... Um, is difficult. But I think you'll consider the good you've done here as well. How do you know him? We were students together in pre-med. Before Calder. Let me worry about Franklin. Get some rest. <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> I guess I better get some rest too. What's going on down there? Miller! I'm coming down. No! Are you hurt? Happened. Where's Myers? Oh my God, is that his blood? Myers! Ah, forget this. No, 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 no. Why not? You have to let me go down there. It must have come in with you. 
<laughs> when I let you in, it's what attacked me in the other pod. What attacked you? I thought you said it was... What is it? I don't know. It was... A... <laughs> It was, it was, it was small. It cut, it cut open. Before I even realized what was happening and then it was too late. And then it was gone. Where did it go? I don't know. There was so much blood. I tried to save him, but I couldn't. Where did it go? The maintenance shaft. The maintenance shaft? Oh, shit, can it get up here? I mean, does that shaft lead to anywhere? All of the major systems. Food, navigation, life support. They all have main wiring ducts that lead up from the central core shaft. It's in the walls. Is it just gonna pop out of the food dispenser? You really are a moron. Where's the gun? I think it might be time we put the bullets back in it. It's downstairs. under the pillow on the bunk. Get in. What are we gonna do about Myers? Can't just leave him here, right? Let's just get upstairs. to open this door. That's a direct order, Roach. Maybe we'd be better off bringing him back in. We don't know that he's not involved in all of this. What's going on? Where's Myers? He's dead. You happy, Domer? You've got more oxygen to breathe. You all don't fully understand the situation you are dealing with here. Uh, he's right. No, we don't. We, we need to find out exactly what that thing is. Give it here. in here.
How did something like that even get in here? What exactly did you guys see on the other pod? Like Myers said, incubators, glass tubes. Yeah, they were exactly like the ones we have down on E deck. Well, we used them to hatch the chickens with. But these, they were for something much bigger. What do you know about this? I am telling you nothing until you let me out of here. We have a situation here. All of our lives are in danger. You need to tell us what you know. Sagan 98. Was a biological transport ship. Yes, a lot of them are. This one was different. I found this earlier after I bypassed some of Franklin's access codes. Humans handle the lower oxygen ratio fine, but not our livestock. So there's been an ongoing project to modify the Earth species with the alien DNA. Well, what does that mean? It means hybrid alien animals. Oh, wait, no. What? They can't possibly do that. I mean, can they do that? It seems like they've been having some success. But I can't get into the rest of the files. not have opened the airlock and let you back in. Greetings. This is Captain Arnold Reguin of the UGS Sagan 99 en route to Hesperides. If you are receiving this message, then you are one of the few survivors of the UGS Sagan 98. And I regret to inform you that our vessel will be unable to come to your aid. We have picked up those pods that have been in our immediate reach, but we hold no hope that others remain. UGS Sagan 100 is aware of your disaster and will, like us, make every effort to bring you to safety. I only pray that you have enough resources available in the next 18 days, onward and upward. How the hell did that happen? I mean, can, can we send a message to him? It's no use. They're already gone. 18 days. If we full thrust toward the next oncoming ship, we can meet it in 10 days. You don't have enough oxygen for that long. Oh, uh, uh, what the? This is chicken shit. We're losing power to the nav console, and the thrusters are out. All the connection points are still good. The problem has to be at the core reactor. If we don't secure power to the main system, then we're going to not make it. Oh, shit. Fine. 
just slipped. Watch my back. Yeah, I'll be right here. I promise. Core trying to fix it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <gasps> I scared the crap out of me. What? Let me out. Oh, yeah, of course. I can't until the power comes up. Missed the rescue ship. Miller said. Oh shit. thinking. Get 
You don't know what you're doing. Not again. What? Let's get you out of these clothes into something clean. Analyze. Dichlorophenny piperazine hydroquinoline is commonly known as aripiprazole. It is primarily used as an antipsychotic drug to treat the symptoms of schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, and disassociative identity disorder. Could these conditions disrupt memory pathways? Certainly. Both schizophrenia and disassociative identity disorder have been known to create parallel memory pathways. I'll be damned. I ran out of my pills. How are you feeling? Actually, I feel like my mind is a lot clearer than it has been in a while. You'll need to manage your stress. Don't trigger your symptoms. Please, get some rest. I'll be okay. I don't know if I can keep this a secret anymore. I hope you don't regret helping me. Don't trigger your symptoms. Please, get some rest. I'll be okay. Well, that's the great thing about memory. You can remember what you want. I did what I had to do. She's pregnant. It'll be a citizen. How are you feeling? Actually, I feel like my mind is a lot clearer than it has been in a while. to t 
Hotel Kanama. You'll give birth on Hesperides. You'll be a citizen. information did you get from her? What have you done? I followed your recommendation. I administered another stimulant and have been waiting for your return. What did we get? I scrubbed through everything. This is what's left. been a good father. Let's just say... I'm afraid so. One more, right now, on three. One, two, three. Oh, she's precious. <laughs> <laughs> 